guest design team project for Natasha Scrapbook Corner. I wanted to show you a few of the items that I used today on my project. So here's the first lace that I used. So beautiful. And then here's a second one, and I love this one. And you can see how I just cut out the bottom part there. And then I used these beautiful napkins that Natasha carries in her shop. Okay, um, everything else is already on the project, so let me pull that up and show you. Okay, so here is my Valentine keepsake box, and this was made from a cookie tin um, that we received for Christmas, and so it was a like a cornflower blue periwinkle color. So I put three coats of gesso on it. And then I took the napkins from Natasha's store and I cut the different flower motifs out and rearranged them the way that I liked. And then I decoupaged them onto the tin. And then you can see how I layered the laces. So here I put a lace, let me grab it so you can see better. So this lace, I put going down the sides. And then here are the two wedding appliques that I um, received from her shop. And I'll put the codes to all the things I used in the description bar below. And then down here is those two pieces that I cut out from the wider lace. So this pink flower is a spray. Actually, this piece and this piece were together, and so I separated the little buds and leaves and everything and rearranged them. So here's the bigger one. And you can see there's a part of the spray up here and some leaves. And then these little white satin flowers she sells in her store, as well as these little um, dove, uh, this little dove couple here. So I stuck that there. All right, and I'll move up to the next one. So here's the rest of the spray and the same satin white flower tucked in there. And then I found this gorgeous image on, at, on Pinterest. And so I just printed that out on some photo paper. And I love how she looks, so romantic and very Valentine's Day themed. Um, on the edge of the box going all the way around, I added this beautiful trim from the store. Okay, so let me set this down. And I'm just going to open this and prop it. So what I did inside of this box was I put a whole bunch of valentines in here. So these are my valentines that I'll be giving out. And I wanted to show you how you could easily create your own valentines using um, the trims and napkins from Natasha's store. Now, Natasha does sell Valentine cards, but if you wanted to experiment and make your own, here are some ideas. So here's the first one, and I used that napkin, so you can see. Um, and then these are little ATCs that um, I purchased, and if you want more details, I can let you know. Just let me know in the comments. And then here I, put, I had a square doily, and so I just cut out the corner, and then I stuck it behind the ATC. And then here is a gorgeous um, flower, and I purchased the pink tool and this puffy, this puffy flower both at the shop, so you can go get those also. And then here is some light pink seam binding that I made into a simple bow. So that's my first one. And then here's my second one. So you can see they all have sort of a love theme, but it's not a romantic one. It's a mother-child theme. Um, and then, so I use the same napkin, doily, and then the, this is the other image. And I use this red tool this time with the red flower and some white seam binding up top. Okay, and then here's the third one. 
This one, um, I stuck a little doily in the center just to give it more of a vintage feel. And the same um, white seam binding doily and then this image this time. And I think they came out so romantic and beautiful. Um, when I adhered it, I did separate the layers of the napkin. And then here's my last one. So you can see it's the pink with the doily and then this image here and the light pink seam binding this time. And these would be great just to give as is or to put in a treat bag, um, even to put in a mini album or a junk journal. I mean, these have a million uses. And then um, this fabric I, purcha I purchased a while back from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. Um, and it comes in a five pack or an eight pack. And so I created these um, pincushion hearts. And um, so here's a couple pincushions that I made. And Natasha carries everything you'll need to make your own pincushions. I mean your own um, stick pins. So what I did here was um, I took strips of several of the ma material um, They're not necessarily material squares, but <laughs> anyway, so I took strips, different size widths um, from several of the different materials that came in the kit, and then I sewed them together on my machine, and then I put them right sides facing together with this fabric, also from the kit, and I just um, traced my own heart pattern. It's a very Tilda-inspired heart pattern, and then I inside outed it after I cut it, and um, stuffed it and then sewed it again. <laughs> um, and then here's more fabric from the same kit and I made a beautiful little flower, a little ruffly flower. And then here's a flat back pearl and a diamante um, buckle slider. And then I put this sweet little doily underneath. And this would be great um, without the stick pins and you can hang it on something, like a doorknob or something if you had a, a little ribbon. Or you can just package it up and then just pass it to your friend that you know would enjoy something like this. And I think it came out super cute. I love it. And then here's my next one. It's slightly bigger so you can see a size comparison. What I'm talking about. And so this one is just this fabric on both sides. And um, I made these stick pins here. And then I put a seam binding bow, and then here's the flower that I made. And all the fabric you see is from the same kit. Um, so, and you get quite a bit to work with. So I thought that was so fun, and I wanted to share that idea with you all as well. And then in this box, um, I put some quilt batting on the sides and bottom, and then I had some of this white satin fabric in my stash anyway. Um, and then I outlined it with this beautiful white satin ruffle trim that I love and I have purchased in the past. So here's another idea. You can just take a beautiful leftover tin or a box that you don't need and alter the inside and the outside. I'm keeping my Valentine mementos in here. Um, it's just a safe, beautiful place to put my things once I've finished creating so I don't forget. Um, when it's time to package and mail everything off <laughs> and also um, when I receive things from my crafty friends I have a special place to um, hold their beautiful creations and then I thought what better way to have a tribute to you know creations that your friends are making you than to decorate it in this kind of way here so I hope you enjoyed my first guest design team project for Natasha's Scrapbook Corner. I had so much fun creating this. I mean, it was just so easy with all of these beautiful materials. And so like I said, I'll put the links to the um, items that I used so that you can easily click on it and purchase it yourself. And I hope everyone's getting excited for Valentine's Day. And I'll put pictures up um, of my project so you can get a closer look. I'll be back soon with my next guest design team project. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.